What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fence Vlogs. I'm your host Jeff Graff. We're getting a late start today. I had to stop off at uh, Caleb Almond's with Almond Landscape um, and Carroll, Ohio had a podcast uh, summit going on. So I made a stop in there today and met up with Dan Wheeler with the Fence Podcast and we ripped out a quick little podcast. Uh, looking forward to that coming out. Shout out to Caleb and Brittany for hosting that event and shout out to everybody that was there and definitely shout out to Dan Wheeler. He's an awesome dude. That being said, we're here to hang gates here on this impound lot. It's finally gate day. We're at the end of the project. Let's see what we're working with. So if you guys remember this gate did have a, uh, it was a wood privacy fence, uh, cantilever gate. Pulled all the wood off, got all the chain link laid out. Getting ready to get it stretched. Just like that, we got the wire stretched. Now it's time to cut down the access. I want this knuckle right here to lay inside the pipe. So what I'll do is I'll come halfway up this next diamond and cut. Then I'll use my knuckler to re-knuckle the diamonds. So here's my knuckling tool. Basically all I did was took a scrap piece of inch and three eighths pipe and a scrap piece of tension bar. I welded it together like a T. And then I have a groove cut in the end. Um, the same width as a nine gauge wire so if it's nice and snug. And basically what you do is you just stick it in and twist. Now I'll get down through here, down this whole line, get this thing re-knuckled. This is a pretty time consuming process. Now that, that we have all the chain link knuckled, looking good, we can go ahead and start setting our rulers. I've got the bottom rulers slid on, dialed in. Now it's time to slide the top rollers on, let them hang, and try to muscle this beast up in the air. All right, boys, here goes nothing. Alright guys, last but not least on this project, we're adding barb arms to the gate. As you can see, I've got several barb arms welded up. Got the first one welded on. Now what I typically do is, usually I would notch these out and do a 90 that way, but you can also 45 it like I did here with this one. This way is actually a lot faster. So let's go ahead and weld on the rest. I'm gonna weld one on every other upright on the gate. All right guys, the Lincoln 140 put in work. We've got all of our bar arms welded on. Time to stretch some barbed wire on this gate. I have to finish tying it off. And this job's a done deal, guys. All right guys, we got barbed wire up on the gate. Gate's tied off, good to go, dialed in. And that brings this project to a close. All right fellas, that wraps up the first project of 2023. 500 foot is six foot tall chain link with barbed wire with the 20 foot cantilever gate that was supplied foot by the customer. I typically don't like to use used gates on new projects, but with this being an impound lot, we all know the probability is this gate's gonna get crashed into at some point. That's the way it goes with these impound lots. So I'm not really too worried about it. It's, it's nice and straight, everything you know operates as it should. Customer's happy, that's what matters. But thanks for following along, guys. 
We'll see you guys in the next project. Later.